Hi everybody! Today's read aloud will be a little bit different than most of my other books that I choose. When I first tell my students the title of this book, they don't seem really excited about hearing this book. But once I read it, it becomes one of their favorites that they want to hear over and over again. It's called The Book with No Pictures and it's written by B.J. Novak. And if you're a fan of The Office like I am, B.J. Novak is the one that plays Ryan in The Office. Okay, so here we go. Like I said, there's no pictures that I really need to show you in this book. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. Probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, uh oh, blork? Wait, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf? Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book that I wanted to read. And I have to say every word that the book says, uh oh. See, look at these silly words they're giving me to say. I am a monkey who taught myself how to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That is not true. I, I'm, I am not a monkey. It's just telling me to say that, you guys. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? I, I'm not. Seriously, I'm just reading the words. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. All right. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song. Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? I, I didn't make up that song, you guys. Definitely not my favorite. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages? I have to read the rest? <clears throat> my only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo boo butt. It's not my only friend in the world. And also, the kids that I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. All right, maybe that part's true. And these kids are the smartest kids too because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh no, uh oh, oh no, here it comes. face. <laughs> See, I would not say those words. I only had to say them because they were in the book. And those were tongue twisters. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk! I didn't want to say that. So, boys and girls, I would urge you to ask your parents to order this book and have them read it to you so they can sound just as silly as I just sounded. Until next time, keep reading and have a great day.